Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, the bonus episode. Well, we're on a treasure hunt at the moment. Chloe's gone off to get the telescope out of the garage or something like that. And Max's job here is to head into the attic and find the amulet. But apparently if we combine those two things, we can somehow get to the treasure. So it's inside of the broom closet, the entrance to the attic. But before that, let's go literally everywhere else. I think the door seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Aww. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Oh, this room is arranged differently. Place in the house, but I need to head to the attic. Yeah, a couple years from now, around the time David moves in, this bed is up against that wall over there. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. <laughs> well, you know what? You actually handled it really well, Max. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. here uh there we go that's that's a bad place to go oh chloe's parents are so cute san francisco holidays chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking hmm Principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. From Ray Wells. Can you imagine Wells actually wanting Chloe to be there? I'd like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. Uh, however, it seems that she's having trouble transitioning into this new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior, and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. The future needs excellence. Oh god. Just like what it said on that statue of some old white guy. Huh, okay, so I guess Chloe... It's not like all the trouble with Chloe in school started after her dad died. Sounds like she really wasn't happy with how... Like, I guess, fake and elitist the people were at Blackwell. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day, and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the story were her before placing blame, your school would be a less challenging environment for your students. 
Focus on your school, I'll focus on my daughter. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. These types of people, uh, this is to Joyce Price. These types of people are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out, I promise. Love you too. Forgot to tell you, Mrs. Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answering machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. I need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still worry. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. From William Price to Aaron Price. Thanks for the pressure washer. Finally used your pressure washer today and just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but now it can at least be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be a cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well and tell Linda I say hello. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Departing 422. What's the current date? Do I have anything that says the current date? I'm sure I've seen something, but uh, nothing here says it. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. College of Arcadia's Early Childhood Education Certification Program. A little sticky note from William. If this is what you want. We'll find a way to make it work. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Why would... Why would you get grounded for accidentally slipping? I mean, an accident's an accident. I don't understand. Unless Chloe told them something different, like... Oh, yeah, I just took a hammer to the post, just for fun. I've gotta find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Ah, dang it. I guess the uh, answering machine message is gonna have to wait. Okay, let's go to the creepy closet. Well, I don't think... There it is. The dark. get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Yeah, I guess the broom closet isn't exactly creepy, but the attic is. Attics are always creepy. You say you stand on the shoulders of giants. I think that should be tall enough. 
when you do science or something, you stand on the shoulder of giants? I don't actually remember the context of that. Please tell me there's a light up here. Ah. Man, there is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. There it is, another photo. No Sharpie boob jobs. Hmm. Disappointing. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I think I can squeeze through now. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving, desk. <laughs> Crap. Mm, I'm thinking I'm supposed to push the desk back this way, maybe. I could also try pulling this. It looks like I could also probably push this back over that direction and then move the cooler. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Maybe there's still some things in there. I guess Chloe's dad went through a hippie phase. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. That's so cool. I wonder how many different moments this thing is captured.
Long Max Silver's eye patch. Ooh, can we put it on? Oh, definitely take it. This will be perfect. This thing is empty. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. <laughs> Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. <laughs> Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And... Spiders. Haha! <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag! Man... I'm gonna miss her. Watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. Dark Cavern was no match for ya. Eh? Long Max Silver to the rescue. Treasure's sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Oh, but I want to look at everything around here. I'm gonna look at everything first. I'm sorry, Chloe. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. Yeah, so all this has been pressure washed. I guess that's why it's just like bare wood. When 
time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. Mm -hmm. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. Oh yeah. Hadn't really thought of that, so I guess they, they met at school, but not at Blackwell. I can't wait to see what we're supposed to do with the amulet. So Chloe's moved on to Blackwell just recently, and I guess Max is still at the old school, although obviously about to transfer to somewhere in Seattle. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? How am I going What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. <laughs> doofus. Only doofuses say doofus. You know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the freaking best. That's all. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? It's just thinking about how awesome this day is and how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Did you drink this? Yar. No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Land ho! Perfect. <laughs> That's a really good picture. <laughs> I wish I could freeze this moment and never have to leave it. <laughs> 
If only you could control time. If we ever want to find the treasure, I'll need to give Chloe the amulet. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Granted. One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Ah, damn it. I forget how to make this... Stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Oh, I missed this before. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive-bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loser, huh? Chloe, you could never be a loser. Even if you tried. Oh well, yeah, the best friend code requires you say that. It's just, this whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well... Treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day. We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, Navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. Okay, you can rotate and all that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, that's definitely the right way. X marks the spot. I'm so close. I just need to keep looking. Um. Hmm. There's two things. Uh, I can't. I can't point at them with a the mouse. <laughs> two things look like a washer and dryer and like steps, and one thing looks like a window? Um. Hmm. Well, the C, like the C mark right above the uh, X, must be probably the ground. Oh, 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 here. Got it. <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> you rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no, the other right. My other right or your other right? Uh, my right. My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Shit. <laughs> Just go that way. <laughs> Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. 